today we'll be taking a general survey of the organic chemistry lab. So first, we're going to start at the student work area. You're going to open the hood sash to the face sash level, which is about here, so the alarm won't go off if you um, keep it higher. Now we're going to have the solvents in the middle for you to share with your partner. So here's the solvent. You can also get refills at the prep hood, which we'll be discussing later. Also, you will have two stands. One will have a hot plate and one's going to be without one. You'll have your clamps also. And in the back is your, temp uh, your thermometer. And over here you will have your tube, this red tubing, which will always be connected to the aspirator. And you will be using this to apply vacuum. Over here you will have two black tubes and you want to make sure at the end to always have them connected to two of the three stems over here. Now outside your student work area, you'll have these four valves. This first one is for water in to your hood. This last one is water for your aspirator. Now make sure when you're using water for the aspirator to turn it all the way on. Whereas if you want water in, you just want to have about a quarter turn. This orange one is for the lab air and this yellow one, the vacuum, you will never use. Make sure when you're using all of these valves to close it just enough to where it stops. Don't overturn it or force it. Now make sure whenever you have um, at the end of the experiment to have your hot plate off but do not unplug it. Now next we're going to be going to an island which will have the melt temp and the balance. The balance you will use to weigh out your solids. So you will have your weigh paper, your filter paper, your chem wipe, a brush, and of course the balance. Now at the end of using the balance, make sure to keep it clean. Now over here is the prep hood, which I mentioned earlier, and you'll be using this to get liquid reagents and solvents. There are three ways to do this. The first one, which you will use the most often, is the graduated plastic pipette. It has marks for the milliliter amount, and you will use it for approximate amounts, not exact amounts. If you want more exact amounts, you will use this plastic, plastic syringe, and this is for the milliliter amount. For exact amounts, if you want microliter amounts, you would want to use the glass syringe for more precise measurements. Also, at the prep hood, remember you can always get your solvent to refill your student work area. Now, there will be papers scattered throughout the lab concerning safety and other important things. So, we want to focus our attention on the guide for melt temp and the hot plate and stirrer. And this, you want to take note of these numbers. This is for your hot plate. Now, if you want, for example, your hot plate to be 150 degrees, you want to turn it to the number four. Or if you want 100 degrees, you want number three, and so on and so forth. So that's an important thing to note. Now we're going to move to the oven. So this oven is to dry out your glassware or also your solids. So at the beginning, if you want to dry out your glassware, put it in the beginning of your experiment so it can be dry. Or also, you can dry out your solids at the end of an experiment. We're going to move over here to the general purpose bench. Now there's going to be gloves and also plastic pipettes here. I'm not going to name everything, but if you don't have it at your student work area, your drawers or the balance, then you can find it at the general purpose bench. The last place we'll look at is the waist hood. And at the waist hood, there's two important things to note. You have to make sure that you put the chemical you have in the right container. The first container is the organic waste. The second container is the halogenated organic waste. Now this can be in an organic solvent or in water. You put it in the halogenated organic waste. And last but not least, it is the aqueous waste, which you'll be putting salt, acids, and bases in here. 
The second thing you want to note is that there are papers associated with each of these containers and you have to make sure you mention what chemical you're putting in the waste. So just fill out the necessary information and you're good to go. And that concludes our survey of your organic chemistry lab.